welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face first impression on one brand only and that brand is gonna be Delilah and I am so excited. I have been trying a few, few, few products from Delilah before and it's so amazing. It's a very high-end brand definitely. My hairdresser last year asked me if I wanted to try out some of the Delilah products because down at Marie's, my hairdresser and my hair salon, they actually sell a Delilah and I would say that Delilah is really, really difficult to get your hands on, especially in Denmark. I think it's kind of like a cult beauty brand that it's kind of like difficult to get your hands on because it's so high-end and it's made from professional makeup artists as well. So it's definitely very professional and that's also why I really, really, really wanted to try it because I love high-end makeup and I love makeup that's been made from real makeup artist. So without further ado, let's try out some new products and hopefully these are gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, the packaging is amazing. I love it. It's kind of like this nude shade and I just really like it. It's so beautiful. I love the packaging already. Um, but let's start out with this one, the um, Underwear Future Resist Skin Primer. Ugh, I love the packaging. It is so beautiful, rose gold and Oh my god, this is my kind of packaging. If I'm ever gonna make some makeup, a do a makeup brand or something like that, I would do some kind of packaging like this because this is so beautiful. And it comes with a pump. I love it. Let's try to get some out. Not sure if this is too much or too little, but we'll try. Doesn't really smell of too much. And it doesn't have any color in it. It feels a tiny bit silicone-ish, but not as silicone -y as, for example, the Benefit um, Professional. And yes, fake tan hands, I'm sorry. Um, but the primer feels very, not sticky, but kind of tacky, which is a good thing. That means that the foundation will cling on to my skin much better. And yeah, it doesn't feel too heavy or anything like that. It's actually very, very nice on the skin. Next up, we obviously want some foundation, and I've got the Time Frame Future Resist Foundation, and this has got SPF 20 in it, and this is in the shade Pebble. Comes with a pump as well, I really like that. And hopefully the color is gonna match as well. Oh, it feels really, really nice in the skin. It's not too thick, even though it looks a tiny bit thick. Feels nice. And great color as well for when I'm wearing a fake tan. Wow, that is pretty. This is such a stunning foundation. It is not mattifying at all. I think it's a tiny bit dewy actually. It feels very, very lightweight as well. I think it's kind of like a light to medium coverage because I can still see some of my imperfections showing through, but it still covered up any redness and so on. So overall, so, so, so pretty. Just gonna try to get a tiny bit more coverage. So I'm just trying to see if it's buildable or not. And I think it is. I just needed a tiny bit more coverage in my T-zone and on my cheeks. And chin as well. Oh man, I love this foundation. It is so pretty on the skin. I actually think it's a bit more of a dewy finish that it gives, which I really, really like. It's great for summer as well because it's got um, sun protection in it, like SPF 20. And overall, I really like it. I think it looks good. Um, so I don't have any concealer to share with you, so I'm just quickly gonna conceal and then I'll return to you. And now concealer is on, and now I'm gonna set my under eye area with the Delilah Pure Touch Microfine Loose Powder. Just got a tiny bit of a natural skin color to it, but it won't show up on your skin. It comes with a little puff as well. Ooh. Even though it comes with a puff, I'm just gonna use a brush. So the under eye area. And I guess you can also use this one for baking as well. I'm just gonna set this time. It is definitely a very fine loose powder, which I like. It doesn't show up on the skin. It doesn't leave any trace of any pores, anything like that. It actually perfects the skin even more. How about around the nose? So 
now I've just used it in my T-zone and as you can see it looks very very natural. I think next time I'm gonna try to bake under the eyes with this one because I feel like that the texture of it is actually even finer than the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder so maybe this is gonna be a dupe. Moving on to my brow, so I've just zoomed you in. I'm gonna use this one, which is the Delilah Brow Liner, and this is in the shade Ash, and um, really exciting. So, oh, it's got a spoolie as well, so it kind of like reminds me of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Let's see if it's as good. And I actually got my brows tinted the other day, um, so that is nice. We'll have to see if the color matches now, though my brows are a tiny bit darker. Oh, so you can go up and down with this one. It's very, very fine. It's just like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Nice shade. Very natural on me. Sorry about the changing lighting, but natural lighting is not always your best friend. Um, but as you can see, I've got the brow liner in both of my brows now, and I like it very much. I love the color, and I love how easy it is to work with. The only negative thing that I've got to say about it is, just as with the brow wiz, I feel like that because I'm so brow obsessed, I'm gonna use this one up so quickly because I use a lot of product in my brows just on a normal everyday basis but the actual product is amazing it really really reminds me of the Anastasia Brow Wiz it is it is definitely a dupe moving on to the eyes I'm gonna use a highlighter as an eyeshadow and I love using highlighters as eyeshadows as well they just lighten up the entire eye look and I just really like that look especially for summer so I'm gonna use this one right here and the packaging is so cute, look at this. Okay, so this is the Pure Light Compact Illuminating Powder in the color Aura. I love it, look at that. To make it as pigmented as possible, I'm just gonna use some concealer on my eyelids as an eye base. And I'm obviously also gonna be using the highlighter or illuminator on my skin afterwards, just to get some glow going on, but I love some glow on the lids as well. And I think I'm just going to use my finger. It is very goldy. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. I don't think that I've got any highlights in my collection that is as goldy, like a light golden color. Great for different skin tones as well. Let's just try to put a tiny bit under the eyebrows. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love this one, especially as an eyeshadow as well. It is such a great, like, natural, goldy look. Everyone can pull this off, definitely. I can't wait, we have to try it on the cheeks as well. <laughs> Looks like I've got a tiny bit of a moustache going on. <laughs> it makes my skin look so much fresher and healthier and just very summery and glowy and everything nice. So I just zoomed you out because now we're going to use some bronzing powder. I'm going to use the Sunset Compact Matte Bronzer in color Light Medium. I actually think I'm just quickly going to use this one in my crease just to define my eyes a tiny bit more. This is a matte bronzer. Definitely very, very warm tone as well. And now let's try it as a bronzer. The temples. And it's not too orangey either. Looks really good, especially when I've got this tiny slide of a tan going on.
It's not the best shade for contouring your nose, obviously, because it's a bit more warm tone, but I don't think it's too bad, though. For the eyes, I'm gonna do a wing liner, and I'm gonna use the Delilah Slim Liner Liquid Eyeliner, just in a black color. So I really like the color of it, it's very very intense and black. Um, I would have liked the nib to be a tiny bit more, not loose, but just a tiny bit more bendy so it could work with it much easier because it's very very tight. So you can't really do too much, you just have to follow like with small strokes. Like normally if it's a bit more bendy you can go like But I just try to do a wing line as well because why not? We have to test it out. That was actually fairly easy. I feel like it's drying out on me right now. honest with you guys I feel like that once I've done my one eye over here which was really nice and very it glided on smoothly then when I moved on to this eye it got very dry and now out there at the tip it's actually kind of bendy I don't know just a tiny bit disappointed because I feel like that it dried out on me while using it for the very first time it's already very dry. Moving on to mascara, I'm gonna use the Delilah Definitive Voluminizing and Defining Mascara and I've already tried this one and it is amazing. This is one of the only Delilah products that I've tried. I feel like when I use this one, my lashes they just go boom. And I'm not gonna curl my lashes because I want you to see how it looks on my lashes without any curling or anything like that. And this is how the brush looks. So here's the mascara on both my top and bottom lashes and as you can see it's not really that lengthening, it's definitely more voluminizing and I think it looks very very nice. So I would definitely say if you want a mascara that gives more volume and also just separates your lashes really nicely, then this is really really good. But I'm going to try to apply a second coat just to show you how it looks like that. Here it is with the second coat, now you can see there's a tiny bit more length as well. And once again I just zoomed you out because I'm gonna use a lip liner now for my lips obviously and I'm just gonna go for a very kind of like nude lip today and I'm gonna use the lip liner from Delilah called Lip Line Longwear Retractable Pencil in the shade, uh, what are you called, Secret? That's a nice name, Secret. <laughs> Looks like this is a very nice nude and it's tried on. This lip liner is kind of like my lip shade, just a tiny bit better. This is a very nice nude. So here are my lips just with the lip liner on. They look amazing. I love this shade. This is amazing on my lips. It really looks like my lip color, just a tiny bit better, so it actually looks very natural on me. And on top I'm going to use the lipstick, obviously, and I'm going to use the Delilah Cream Lipstick in the color Whisper. This is such a stunning color. I've used it before and I've tried it before, but I just know you have to see it on. It is amazing and it goes great with this lip line, I'm sure. on 
now, it looks amazing. It's a tiny bit lighter now, so a bit of a lighter pinky nude. I actually love most of the products. I really enjoy them. You can definitely tell they're high-end because of the quality of them. The only product that I'm very disappointed in is definitely the uh, liquid eyeliner because it definitely went dry on me way too quickly. It was my first time using it and it went dry on me. But other than that, the foundation, highlighter, everything like that, brow product as well is amazing. Honestly, just all of the other products, they were amazing, but that liquid eyeliner, it just wasn't for me. But now we're obviously gonna see how well this makeup lasts during the entire day, and then at the end of the day, I'm gonna return to you. I must say, I don't think that the lipstick and the lip liner is gonna last for as long as the rest of the makeup, because I'm gonna eat as well and stuff like that, but We'll have to wait and see by the end of the day. I feel so confident with this makeup on. I really feel like a princess. I feel like it makes me look like a million dollars. But I'll talk to you guys very soon. Hey guys, so now I'm back after a lot of hours and I've been out and about. I've been eating dinner as well. And as you can see, the lipstick is almost totally completely gone. Um, which I did expect because as I said, I've been drinking, eating, all of that good stuff. You can still kind of tell that I've got a tiny bit of my lip liner and lipstick out of the corners of my mouth, but other than that, it is completely gone. But as I said, I kind of like expected that to happen because I knew I was going to eat and so on. However, I do feel like the during the day stayed on really nicely, it looked really beautiful, and some of my friends here actually said, oh my god, what is that you're wearing on your lips today? Other than that, I can see that my eyeshadow or um, illuminator. It has faded a tiny bit on my eyes, however it still looks really pretty. I would still be able to walk out the doors like this and the liner is still intact, the mascara still looks amazing. It hasn't smudged on me or anything like that, so that is really, really nice. And I would say that I haven't powdered my skin at all and I definitely look a tiny bit shiny in my forehead and T-zone, however, it still looks pretty good. It is not too bad, it's not too bad. Just touching up here and there and I could walk out the door, definitely. So, all in all, I'm actually really, really happy. I'm happy about the longevity of the makeup and also just how it's looked during the day. And that was actually all for this video. I can highly recommend Delilah Cosmetics. It is a British brand and I am all about it. I love it. I need to get more things, definitely. Um, and as I said, I got it from my hairdresser, Maria S. And you can buy it there. I think that's kind of like the only place here in... Noyland and Olga where you can actually buy Delilah. I'll leave all the details down below. And yeah, that was all. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!